Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In our previous video, we explored electric powertrain systems for heavy commercial vehicles, focusing especially on heavy duty trucks. Today, we're shifting gears to discuss electric buses. We'll cover the main types of electric buses, their applications, the pros and cons of different e powertrain solutions, and the future trends shaping electric bus technology. Main types of new energy buses. Aside from traditional fuel powered buses, there are three main types of new energy buses. Classified by their power source, battery electric buses, plug-in hybrid electric buses, and fuel cell buses. Plug-in hybrid electric buses. These buses combine a conventional fuel engine with electric components like a motor and battery. They can run in either electric-only mode or hybrid mode. In short-range trips, they operate in electric mode to save fuel and reduce emissions. For longer journeys, they switch to hybrid mode to extend range. Fuel cell buses. Fuel cell buses generate electricity through a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen, which powers the bus. With high energy density, zero emissions, and quick refueling, they offer a promising alternative to traditional engines. Battery electric buses. Battery electric buses rely entirely on electric power, using a motor, battery, and controller. They produce zero emissions, run quietly, and minimize vibration, making them a popular choice among new energy buses today. Battery electric buses are further categorized by their charging methods, fast charging plug-in buses, standard plug-in buses, and battery swapping buses. Fast charging plug-in buses. The advantages of the fast charging plug-in buses include short charging time, optimizes space and infrastructure usage at bus depots, smaller batteries are required, making the bus lighter. Disadvantages include higher battery costs, increased power demand strains the grid and requires expensive infrastructure, Energy costs can be high due to peak hour charging. Standard plug-in buses. Advantages include lower battery costs reduce financial pressure on operators, can charge overnight during off-peak hours, cutting costs, slower charging is gentler on batteries in the grid. Disadvantages include requires more space at depots due to a lower station-to-bus ratio, additional staff may be needed for overnight charging, larger batteries are needed to meet daily demands which adds weight. Battery swapping buses. Advantages include fast battery swaps, usually 7 to 8 minutes for 4 battery packs, allow for efficient recharging, centralized battery management extends battery lifespan. Disadvantages include high battery costs, large space is needed to store charged and used batteries, charging multiple batteries at once can strain the grid. Plug in hybrid electric buses. Advantages include easy to refuel with fuel or gas. Economical due to reduced fuel consumption during start and acceleration. Disadvantages include higher maintenance due to breakdowns, limited fuel saving benefits in practice. Fuel cell buses. Advantages include zero emissions using renewable hydrogen fuel. Disadvantages include technology is still developing, building hydrogen refueling stations is costly. When comparing these options based on cost efficiency, space needs, grid demand, operational flexibility, and durability, the standard plug-in electric bus stands out for its balanced performance across most categories, though it does require more depot space. This table summarizes the pros and cons of each type of new energy bus technology, EV bus design based on different application scenarios. Electric bus designs vary based on specific application scenarios. In urban areas with narrow winding roads and short distance routes, a compact 6-meter city minibus is often the best choice. These smaller buses help avoid the wasted capacity seen with larger vehicles. Take, for example, a fully electric low-floor minibus with a body width of just 2,080 mm. This width allows it to maneuver easily through tight streets such as those in residential neighborhoods, providing more flexibility compared to standard buses. The smaller size also helps reduce the number of empty seats, lowering operating costs for bus companies. This model features our electric drive axle system, which delivers a peak power of 115 kilowatts, about 156 horsepower, and supports a low floor design with a single step entry. This setup replaces the two or three steps typical of larger buses, making boarding quicker and more convenient for all passengers, including those with strollers or wheelchairs. It also shortens boarding times, boosting overall efficiency. The low floor design further enhances safety by reducing fall risks and offering a smoother, more comfortable ride. As electric bus systems continue to become more compact, many transit operators are now opting for 8 to 8.5 meter fully electric buses instead of traditional 10.5 or 12 meter models. In dense urban cores and on main transit routes, where passenger loads surge during peak commuting times, larger buses tend to consume more energy and have low occupancy rates during off-peak hours. 
Additionally, big buses can struggle with turns and passing in heavy traffic, which may actually worsen congestion. The 8.5-meter buses, while shorter, provide superior seating comfort and safety. They feature a single-step, flat floor design with no interior steps in the standing area, reducing trip hazards for passengers. The power batteries are roof-mounted, maximizing interior space and allowing these buses to offer similar capacity to 10-meter models. Today's 8.5-meter buses can carry up to 80 passengers, making them flexible for varying passenger volumes and enabling bus operators to boost efficiency while alleviating urban traffic. They are also more cost-effective, helping transit operators save on procurement costs. Overall, the trend in city transit is moving towards smaller, high-capacity vehicles. High-passenger, high-efficiency models are becoming a popular choice in cities worldwide. By selecting the right electric drive system for these purpose-built models, bus manufacturers can stay ahead of industry trends and enhance their competitiveness in the market. Electric powertrain systems for electric buses Similar to the heavy commercial vehicle e-powertrain system we discussed in our last video, the electric powertrain system for buses primarily includes three types, central direct drive, integrated electric axle, and distributed electric axle. Central direct drive system the central direct drive system replaces the traditional engine or powertrain in a standard fuel-powered bus with a single motor or a motor paired with a reducer or transmission. This was one of the first electric configurations adopted for battery electric buses, as it allowed for relatively simple retrofitting of existing fuel-powered buses with minimal modifications. However, due to the longer transmission chain, central drive systems tend to have lower efficiency. Additionally, since the drive shaft remains in place, the powertrain is heavier and takes up more space, limiting the room available for battery installation and ultimately affecting the bus's range. Integrated electric drive axle. The integrated electric axle eliminates the drive shaft, integrating the drive motor and reducer or transmission directly into the axle for propulsion. This configuration, as shown in the diagram, can vary in design. The most common type is the parallel axis drive, which reduces system weight, improves efficiency and offers a flexible layout for the vehicle at a lower theoretical cost. The coaxial electric axle integrates essential components, motor, reducer, and differential, onto a single axis, creating a highly compact design that optimizes interior space. This design is especially beneficial for electric buses, where shorter vehicle lengths demand efficient space utilization. The streamlined size and structure of the coaxial axle allow for flexible placement of battery packs, control systems, and other critical components, enhancing both vehicle performance and safety. Additionally, this type of axle offers superior noise, vibration, and harshness NVH characteristics, providing passengers with a quieter and more comfortable ride. For instance, our 130 kW coaxial e-axle solution integrates the motor and axle housing along the same axis with advanced integration technology. This design minimizes chassis footprint and weight, making it the most compact and lightweight solution available in the industry. The motor's symmetrical alignment also ensures better balance in the sprung mass distribution, reducing the load on the suspension compared to parallel axis drive axles. With this setup, cabin noise remains below 70 dB, creating a more enjoyable driving experience. Our coaxial e-axle system reduces vehicle weight by over 100 kilograms, freeing up additional chassis space and increasing passenger capacity by 30%. The axle's 100% anti-torque capability also reduces energy consumption by 15%, significantly extending the vehicle's range. Compatible with 2.2 to 3 ton steering front axles, this electric drive axle is ideal for 5 to 6 meter fully electric minibuses. Electric buses equipped with this axle have already been exported to Japan, Europe, and Australia. Distributed electric drive axle. In our previous video, we introduced the distributed electric axle used in heavy-duty trucks, which is also applicable to buses. One of our clients experimented with this technology, and after positive results, they decided to repurchase and integrate it into their electric bus production. Additionally, we also offer a wheel-side distributed electric axle, which is currently the most popular distributed drive solution for buses. This design positions the drive motor next to the wheels, where it directly drives the wheels through a reduction mechanism. The wheel side drive significantly simplifies the vehicle's drive system and overall structure, making it more compact and easier to achieve low floor designs that increase standing area and passenger capacity. Additionally, this configuration lowers the vehicle's center of gravity, improving driving stability, aligning with the current trends in electric bus development.
This system also features a short powertrain, and through energy management and power system control strategies, it optimizes power and braking force distribution, reducing energy consumption. Compared to internal combustion engine or centralized electric drive vehicles, this technology drastically improves the vehicle's dynamic performance. Through the motor control system, the system can offer a range of benefits, such as enhanced handling and steering performance, reduced steering radius, and improved maneuverability. For instance, our wheel side drive axle offers the following advantages over a central direct drive system. Safety, the low floor design increases passenger space and eliminates the traditional rear engine, improving passenger safety. Lightweight, the overall vehicle weight is reduced by 200 kilograms compared to a central direct drive system. Cost effectiveness, the parallel axis cylindrical gears in the wheel side drive ensure that the torque feedback is 100% symmetrical increasing energy recovery by 50% and reducing energy consumption. Active safety, independent control of the left and right wheels allows for better management of wheel slip, reducing tire wear, preventing skidding on wet or icy roads, and enhancing overall safety. Additionally, the system uses yaw moment control to maintain vehicle stability without increasing costs implementing ASR and ESP functionality. For longer 18-meter buses, the benefits of wheel side drive include reduced vehicle cost, 300 kg lighter weight, superior performance and energy efficiency compared to direct drive systems. Dual power systems avoid the need for trailers, making winches more reliable. Space savings in the rear compartment where the motor and transmission used to be, allowing for more battery capacity or increased passenger capacity. When a wheel side motor axle is used for driving, it allows for single center axle drive, ensuring that the front vehicle pulls the rear one, keeping the entire vehicle in a stable state. This eliminates the need for hydraulic stabilizers, which are required in articulated vehicles with rear axle drive. This makes the articulated setup simpler, more reliable, and cost-effective with no maintenance required. Additionally, a distributed drive system with independent suspension and wheelside motors offers a unique advantage. Our electric axle, for example, features steering capability that enables the rear wheels of the bus to track, significantly reducing inner wheel slip during right turns. After the implementation of this wheel-side drive axle, public transit companies have provided the following feedback. The distributed independent suspension system offers clear advantages. The distributed layout creates a wider interior corridor, enabling a low floor through access design from front to back, which enhances the passenger experience by offering more space. The optimized layout allows a 10-meter bus to achieve the passenger capacity of a traditional 12-meter bus, significantly increasing vehicle efficiency. The four airbag independent suspension produces lower noise and more stable steering, providing drivers and passengers with greater comfort and safety. Passengers have remarked that it feels as comfortable as riding the subway. Another form of distributed electric drive is the hub motor. The main feature of this solution is that it integrates the power unit, transmission system, and braking system directly into the hub, greatly simplifying the electric vehicle's drivetrain. The key advantage is its high transmission efficiency. However, it also presents significant technical challenges. For example, the limited space within the wheel requires the motor to have a high power density, which increases the design complexity. Additionally, it can affect vehicle handling and safety, especially when driving on uneven surfaces, as the hub motor bears the full impact of road shocks. Furthermore, the motor's heat dissipation becomes an important issue to address. Considering all factors, the centralized electric drive axle is currently the more widely accepted solution. However, Due to its more compact and streamlined layout, distributed drive is gradually emerging as the future trend. Our e-powertrain solutions for electric buses. We offer a range of e-powertrain systems for electric bus manufacturers, including electric motors and controllers and electric axles. For small buses, we highly recommend our coaxial electric drive axles, and for standard buses ranging from 8 meters to 18 meters, we suggest our distributed e-axles. In addition to the structural advantages of our distributed e-axles, our R&D team has mastered several core technologies for electric commercial vehicles, such as electronic differential system EDs, which has been proven over millions of kilometers, electronic acceleration slip regulation EASER, leading torque control algorithm with millisecond response time enhances safety and reduces tire wear, intelligent regenerative braking system IRBs, Ensure braking performance while recovering energy in various driving conditions to reduce overall energy consumption and extend driving range. Intelligent Electronic Stability System ES, adjust the torque of various components in real time based on the overall vehicle status to ensure safety and stability of the vehicle under extreme conditions. 
Currently, this type of V-axle has been successfully applied in hydrogen buses, airport shuttle buses, and more. We also offer other components such as EV battery packs, electric power steering systems, air brake compressors, and more. You can visit our website for additional information. If you're in need of EV systems, feel free to reach out to us by email or via WhatsApp. Click the link in the video description to learn more. In our next video, we'll showcase our e-powertrain systems in person, as we will be exhibiting them at Auto Mechanica Shanghai 2024. If you're interested, be sure to subscribe to our channel and stay updated.